So, off the back of my last video, I thought I should probably do an update on what I've changed equipment wise, you know, what has broke recently, what I've pulled out, what new kit I've got in there. And I think for most people, it probably won't make any sense what I've done at all, like for argument's sake, getting rid of an Apex. But for me, it kind of makes sense. <laughs> I suppose that's what's important. But I've changed quite a lot of uh, the stuff that I'm using, especially if you've ripped out a full Apex system, you know, you are gonna have to change some bits and bobs. So let's take a quick look at what's changed. So this is where most of the controllers are kept. So it's the obligatory board you can get. I've got this one from Chartres Aquatics. I forgot the brand of it now, but it is the cheaper of the two. And this is holding a lot of my controllers. We Reef Octopus and the usual Ecotech. This white board you can see is basically from Ikea. I think it's called Pinboard. And it's, you pull it on your one, it's for like stationary and hobbies and stuff. with it. Basically it's modular, so you can put loads of shelves and stuff on it. And I, I didn't use it for that, but what I wanted it for was to hide cables and just be able to attach stuff to it. So it's one of them ones where in the past, it, you know what, there's a balance between form and factor. And sometimes you can go to too much form or too much factor. <laughs> it's like, you can make something look amazing and then you can't access it. Or you can make something that's accessible, but it looks really poor. And there's a fine balance. And I think, I think I've just got there now. I've just about made it. I'm gonna open the other side so we get a full look of what's going on. I mean, it is, just some has changed. I mean, if you look at what I had in the past, if you go from my old videos, there obviously I had the manifold coming off there, but it stopped me using this ATO, which meant I had to put a big ATO box there. My apex was stuck right on the back. I didn't have none of this there at the time. I couldn't access the apex. And then, you know, you have all the modules with it and it was just, there was cables everywhere. I know it looks like there's cables everywhere now, but it was an absolute, it was impossible to sort out and it was it really used to jar me. So what have I changed? Well, I suppose that's the best way to do it. So I've changed my pump. I've got a Reef Octopus pump now. I used to use a cheap, um, like J-Cod one. I like the Reef Octopus pumps. Um, off the back of this skimming I've had for a few years now, it's really good. So I thought, you know what? In for a penny, in for a pound, I got one of those. I changed my UV. The UV used to be in line again. It used to run off of a manifold. Now it doesn't. It's running off of a little Aquamedic pump. DC and the controller's there. But it's standalone. You're going to hear that a lot. So I've gone from integration to a lot of standalone stuff. And the reason behind that is things break. And it, it always concerned me where everything was tied into the Apex. And I wasn't great with the Apex. I'm not going to lie and I did struggle with it. It's one of the things where I managed to set it up, but if you don't use something all the time, when you have to go back in there and change it, you're almost starting again. And so for me, because I didn't really spend enough time on it, every time I had to do something on it, it was, it was a headache. It took ages to set up for me, like days, and it just, you know, in the end, things started to break on it, optical sensors on the uh, ATO top half, and just things started to go funny on it, and I just wasn't confident in it. And it, it kind of put me off the tank, to be fair. I've got to be honest, it's one of the things where that, and the issues with access I was having, kind of put me off doing the tank. And so I just, I bit the bullet, I stripped it out, and started putting individual items. Now, I haven't got anything against automation or online, so like these two items here, these are Race Factory, that's an ATO, and like a, a heater controller, basically, with a fan. So you've got the fan running in the corner. Um, and there was nothing wrong with the one I was using. I just liked the fact that this is Wi-Fi. Um, so I do like apps. I do like going on apps, but I like apps that work. Straightforward and are basic. And to be fair, Reef Factories, you get mixed reviews, but I've had touch wood, no issues with their online at all. The app has just worked for both of them. And I quite like that. Still using the GHL Dosa, but I've dumbed it down. So that's my ATI. Essentials or pros, I say. Sorry about the way this camera's going on, that's a bit mad. Obviously, but everything is tied in. I'm gonna go up there, see if you can see up there. Everything is tied in where possible. Now, you're probably looking at this and thinking, how can you access everything? But I can, like, nothing's tied in. I can just pull this off. This is on, like, it's called a French something or other. So you can just pull that off. This can all come out 
and all the cables are behind it. But I can assure you, as much as this looks like everything's hidden, or it's Spaghetti Junction, it's not. Everything is labelled. Everything is going somewhere. I'll show you. It's all labelled. And so if anything breaks, I can just pull it out. It's all isolated. It's really like, honestly, compared to where it was before, this for me is a million times better. Honestly, I've got, I've got the NIOS uh, React, I forgot what it's called, you know, but it's the Gen 2 one, but I don't need to use it, but I've got it sitting there for when I do need to, I'm sure I will at some stage. And I'm a lot happier without the Apex. I've got to say, I'm much happier without the Apex. And it's just, I don't know, I just, I'm back in the hobby, if that makes sense. I'm happy again with it. I, I'm quite happy with what I've done with this boarding. As I said, it's hidden what it's need to hide. I can expand on it. I can attach. I can take things off. Like, if you have a look, these are just bands, again, from Ikea. It's all just banded on. If that breaks, I just take it off. It's gone. It's fine. If I want to change it, I can just move it. It's not, nothing screwed in, tied in. And that's what I wanted, to be fair. So I've got to say at the minute, much happier with it. What else have I updated? Loads of stuff started breaking. So like, you know what it's like, I didn't do nothing for two years. And then lo and behold, you start, you, you know it's like, it takes hours. If you've ever done wiring on these things, honestly, it, it's a pain in the backside and you have an idea and then it doesn't work and you're constantly changing stuff around. But, you know, I was put, taking, turning lights off and then the, the power, the, the PSUs were breaking on them. So I was having to go get one cent in for that. Everything I touch seems to break. <laughs> so some of this stuff I've changed, I've changed because I've had to. I've got another pump, so I'm running an MP40, an MP10 on the back wall there. But I also got uh, the Reef Octopus. I forgot what they're called now, but it's, it's the smaller one, it's the Summit 2. Got that off eBay, just to add some more flow. And again, I am happy with Reef Octopus stuff. I do quite like it, it seems quite durable. So that's why I've kind of tied in some of the Reef Octopus stuff. I don't mind Ecotech, the, the, the lights and the pumps are fine. Oh, yeah, but they're, they're, their apps and stuff are horrendous, rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. So the, most of the kit I'm running on here is Ecotech, Reef Octopus, and the Reef Factory. I might get their, I might get their doser. I don't know, because again, I'm on the GHL doser, but again, they're, it's through the computer and it's horrendous. Again, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. And I've had no issues with uh, Refactory, so I can lump that together. But I like Refactory. People that moan about Refactory are like, well, everything runs off its own plug. It's not like an Apex where it's all into one system. But that's what I like. I like the fact that it's kind of like that. I like the fact that it's separate. But I know 90% of the population will think I'm mad about that. But for me, it just works. I'm kind of old school, new school. I like the kit. But I can be a bit thick with it. <laughs> so like, I'm somewhere in between. But yeah, that really quick update on what I've done with the sump. So you've had one of the tank, one of the sump, and it, you know, it'll give you an idea of what I've done.